Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you are doing well. I'm going to show you how I make my whipped body butter for dry skin. If you're someone that suffers from dry flaky skin, I think you're going to enjoy this recipe. Um, there are so many body butter videos out on YouTube. I have a few of my own. Um, so I hope you find this helpful. I'm going to show you step by step um, how I do this. Um, so let's jump right in and if this is your first time stopping by my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos and I also have a small business where I sell my products online on my website um, if you are interested in checking that out I'll have my website link in the description box so let's jump right in As always, I'll have everything I used listed in the description box along with the full recipe. Um, so check that out. And of course, you can always make substitutions um, to the ingredients um, to make them work better for you. So I'm going to weigh out my first ingredient. My first ingredient is shea butter and you can substitute that with another butter of your choice. Uh, but I'm using shea butter. It has so many amazing benefits. It helps to boost um, the skin's moisture. It's anti-inflammatory and it's safe for all skin types. Next is coconut oil. I'm using this oil because it's really good for um, dry skin. Um, if you have eczema, it's also good for that. And it has antibacterial and antifungal um, benefits. So now I'm going to um, heat up the um, shea butter and coconut oil. I'm going to do this on low heat. Um, you want to do this um, so you don't uh, lose the nutrients um, of the butter and oil. Um, so don't use high heat um, when I'm heating this up. So now that everything has melted down, I'm going to add in the rest of my oils, starting off with olive oil. Olive oil is rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and it also helps to repair um, damaged skin. And I'm also using castor oil. Castor oil is very moisturizing. It's rich in fatty acids as well. And it's also going to promote healthy skin tissue. So I'm going to mix all this up. I'm going to cover it and place in um, the freezer for about 30 to 40 minutes. So after about 40 minutes, this is what my uh, mixture looked like. Um, you don't want to leave it in too long and you don't want it to get uh, very hard because it's going to be difficult uh, to whip up your mixture. So for this, I'm using my um, small whisk. Um, you can use a stand mixer or handheld mixer, but I'm making a small batch. So I'm just going to whip this up for about four to five minutes. Um, you want to um, whip this to the consistency that you want and you also want to uh, make sure you're scraping down the sides so that way you get every bit of butter, any hard bits, um, so that way you can uh, whip it up very well. So once again, there's no set time, but typically I don't whip for uh, more than 10 minutes whenever I'm making my body butters, hair butters, I whip for about 10 minutes. You want to make sure that um, you don't whip your body butter too much so that way it does not deflate. And um, just a quick reminder, I have my next uh, body butter online workshop. Um, it's a three hour class. If you are interested in signing up for that, the registration link will be in the description box. It's a very, very detailed class with so much more information about making your body butters. And I also have my beginner classes on there as well. Um, but so far, this is what my consistency is looking like. Remember that you can always make changes to your butters, your oils. Um, to get a consistency that you prefer but this is what I have uh, so far um, I'm going to go on and add the rest of my ingredients Thank you. 
So I'm just mixing everything just to make sure everything has been well combined. And then I'm going to use my um, whisk one last time just for about 30 seconds um, to make sure everything has been combined properly. And one thing I will say because on my last body butter video, I have gotten so many questions. I've gotten emails. Um, my last body butter video that I did, um, I did not give out that um, recipe uh, because that is a body butter I sell, but I did leave suggested um, percentages that you can try out. Um, with body butters, you just have to try out different things different combinations and see what works best for you everybody's preference is different there's no such thing as a perfect body butter um, but this is what my final uh, consistency is looking like um, i'm going to go on and package this up next And this is what I have so far. This recipe made 10 ounces of product and the uh, shelf life is anywhere from nine to 12 months, um, but it really depends on the combination of oils and butters that you use. But um, this, the range for body butters is between nine to 12 months. Um, but I hope you found this recipe helpful. Um, this is so good for um, really dry, flaky skin. Um, because coconut oil works wonders for dry skin as well as olive oil so let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments reach out to me if you have any questions about this recipe i'm going to show you how it applies on the skin um, i'm not a fan of rock hard body butters um, all my body butters um, remain the same they remain the same consistency months after making them um, so I hope you try out this recipe. Um, please don't forget to uh, subscribe if you've not. And also, uh, please turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos I upload. And also, please like this video because that really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.